Okay, that's much better. Surround your hey. Hey guys. Thank you so much for joining. Hey Jay Lewis. Hey CB Callens 25. How are you guys doing? Thank you for joining in tonight. Thank you guys for joining in tonight. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Greatly appreciate you. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Hey Scott, hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you, Kale. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for joining in, guys. Hey. I could, I finally catch you. I, I see, I know. Oh, here we go. We got all these fools. Lord have mercy. Okay, anyway, I ain't letting stupidness get to me right now. So I'm so glad you're on, Jay Lewis. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Listen, guys, if you can, um, oh, thank you. If you can, share this with your followers and also tap on the screen. Give hearts and love and everything else, okay? So um, tonight, listen, the, the last couple nights, um, last night we began to talk about... Um, alopecia and we talked about uh, attraction alopecia last night and what it looked like and I said I was going to jump back on tonight uh, thank you so much for inviting your followers I said I was going to jump back on tonight and just talk more about or show you some pictures of a form of traction alopecia okay and what that is um, but for those of you who are watching this by replay thank you so much for joining in and also sharing this with your followers hey Karen baby white um, and also um, tapping the screens and showing the love I greatly appreciate it so yesterday we talked about what traction alopecia was and it was the it was um hey Hey, hey, I am Bryce M. Thank you guys for joining in. Thank you. So basically, um, we are beginning to talk about traction alopecia and what that was and how braiding, um, what is it? Yes, traction alopecia is a balding of the hair. If the hair is pulled too tight um, due to braiding or, you know, high ponytails, you over the course of one or two to maybe even three years, you'll get what's called traction alopecia. And that will cause a lot of damage to the follicles. Well, in other words, the follicle will pull completely out of the hair. I'm going to show you a picture that I posted yesterday. And also, what if you have dreads? You have to also be careful because dreads are... Um Dreads are prone as well for allo traction alopecia if you get them twisted too tight. Let's say that your hair, I'm French, I understand a little. Okay, so what happened is, is that if your, um, if your dreads are thin, okay, and they're completely thin and they look like they're, they're um, it's pulling the, at the follicle or the follicles are going to be pulled out of the, uh, the root, then you want to double your, uh, your locks, okay? You want to get those locks doubled, all right? You can also put the um profession um the the excuse me the uh dread hair the human dread hair and you can actually wind them together or dread them together until they actually merge together and then you can you know you well if it's human hair you don't have to remove it but if it's synthetic or temporary you're gonna have to move it okay so you want to make sure you're careful of those if you have small small dreads um and they're tiny. You want to go ahead and start. Um, do you make your, your units with the sewing machine? Yes, I do. I do make my units on a sewing machine. All right, so let me show you a, a, a client that I had. She had damage due to alopecia. Um, the client, she went into a salon and she they used products on her hair and damaged her hair completely. When I tell you this customer, she went um, to me and she started drinking alcohol. It does an effect to your spirit because when you lose your hair, if you feel like you, you've lost your glory, thank God for wigs or custom wigs, because if not, you'll have people going like crazy. And so, um, let me show you this picture that I, um, quick. all right, here's a picture right here. All right. If you notice, I'm going to, I'm going to open up this screen here. This is my screen. Okay. Hold on. Let me get some of these little things out of here. All right, so this is a client right here. This is alopecia. She, her hair was down her back, and what ended up happening, I'm gonna open that up a little bit more so you can see that. What ended up happening is she went to a stylist who claimed she knew what she was doing, and she went in one day with her hair 
long down her back, gorgeous, dark hair. Y'all, uh, give some, uh, tap the screen, give some loves and sh share this with your followers as well. This is what calls when you are not skilled and you don't understand nothing about hair and you, yes, this is what happened to her. So what I had to do was she came to me, she was crying and she just lost her hope and she lost everything. And so she was wearing wigs that looked like grandma wigs. And I'm just being honest. And so every time, even up till now, she sits in my chair, she cries, she cries. But now she said the reason why she's crying now before she cried because she was so hurt by what the girl did to her hair. Listen, guys, in this picture right here, this happened five years ago, five years ago, and she is still being affected today because of this, because of this issue here. That's why I tell people who are not stylists, hey, Inspired Overflow, how are you? Thank you for joining. For those people who are not stylists, do not do people hair if you don't have a license. Okay, hey darling, good to see you. I need to get in contact with you. I'm still carrying my um my um what is it? My my um thing you made me. I'm still carrying it everywhere I go. It's blessed too. And so anyway, this right here, when she lost her hair, it caused her to go through an emotional turmoil. Okay? It caused her to drink alcohol and it because she said, How in the world can she get married? And do you have any problems selling your wigs? No, I don't. You do, you could um, go to thecustomwigs.com and you can um, actually uh, get in contact with me uh, with the contact form and I'll get, it, get in contact with you. And so she felt like if she got married, she could not take her hair or wig off and show her husband her hair. Okay, y'all? This is a serious matter. That's why it's so important to know what you're doing. So I took her from here to here. Okay. I couldn't show you her face because she wanted, she didn't want me to show her face for this. And I did, I had to create a, uh, wig, uh, a lace, uh, excuse me, a closure here. And I did some curls in her hair or whatever. And then, you know, you can see that, um, I wish you guys could see her face when she's ready. I'll show pictures of that. So Tonight, what we're talking about is androgenetic alopecia. This is one form of alopecia that you will see in this balding, and it could be also be um, alopecia areata. The thing is here is you'll see in, if you look closely, if you can, if you look closely, you can actually see, let me get my pen so you can see my little stick. I call it my stick. You can actually see there is hair coming out of her follicles right here, Okay. You see that? There is hair coming out of there. Right in this area here, that tells me something. That tells me that that hair bulb is probably not damaged as much as we probably... It looks bad now, but it's probably not as damaged as we think it is. So once we go in, which she is agreed with me. Yes. Uh, is, is there anyone on this that know my website, thecustomwigs.com? Can you post it, please? For me, thecustomwigs.com. Jay Lewis, if you can uh, post that for me, I would greatly appreciate you um, if you're able to, because I don't think I can post from my phone here. Um, matter of fact, I can actually put it. Thank you. No, thecustomwigs.com. Thecustomwigs.com. All right, so that's one of them. Now, another form of alopecia that you deal with is androgenetic. Thank you. Thank you, darling androgenetic alopecia this is more it's also common in men so this is a man right here i'm very stupid <laughs> that's okay um this is a man right here that is dealing with androgenetic alopecia okay androgenetic alopecia is the result of a genetic age and hormonal change that causes uh, miniaturization of terminal hair okay this is what that looked like Okay, you'll see men doing that, even in, uh, um, this is a Caucasian, any type, you know, they, this is what they deal with right here. This is called androgenetic alopecia. It is from um, aging and hormonal changes that causes miniaturization of terminal hair, converting it to vellus um, hair, all right? Andro alo uh, uh, excuse me, androgenetic alopecia can begin as early and... <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, Cynthia. <laughs> Yeah, um, androgenetic can also be as early as um, seen as early as age 40 and also in, you know, young children up until the age of 40. OK, so it's a pattern of baldness. So this is one of them right here. This is androgenetic in a man. As you can see, let me open that up a little bit more. You can as you can see right in here. See, now let me show you something. Look at the difference in the different types of alopecia I just sent you. Here's one here. This is one of my clients. Here's one here. Okay. You notice that she have hair all around her um, base of her hair or the nape area of her hair. Okay. And she don't have anything right here. And I managed to be able, well, this was a, um, this, I managed to be able to do a wig for her and also a sew in. Okay, for her. I had to create a base. That's another scope. And so, yeah, it does work for real. It really does work for real, Cashmere. Is there any way you can use not use profanity for me? I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Look at this, guys. This is androgenetic alopecia. You see the difference? Now the hair, they have more hair on the sides, but then the hair on top right here is bald. This is the same androgenetic alopecia, and it's the same. Now, he, this uh, customer right here have more hair, but right up in here, it's okay. I appreciate you um, being, you know, respectful. And um, right in here, as you can see, this is actually his hair right here in the front hairline is coming out. Now, if you're going to do a topper or a... A topper for a man you would actually measure out this this area here and you would actually make a topper for this client right here so you won't know this is all gone okay this is another form of androgenetic alopecia right here it comes uh this is the front hairline right here i'm sorry my i have a touch screen and every time i touch this thing it just okay this is and it goes all the way to the crown area all right so just, you know, these are the different forms of, this is in men. This is a different form. You can go to uh, medical and get hair impl implants or, yeah, hair implants, or you can also take medication to get this situation, um, you know, dealt with. And the reason why I say that, that they have a hair bump still is you can actually see the small, yes, I do take insurance. You can see the small areas in here growing back, okay? You see less ball spots in this um, androgenetic than you would actually see over here, okay? All right. Now, for my last picture, I want to show you guys androgenetic in women, all right? Same thing, same issue right here. You see that? It's the same issue right in here. Let me show you guys. Hair is gone right here. A lot of times you can get androgenetic alopecia is due, due to um, aging and hormonal changes that causes miniaturization of terminal hair. All right. Watch this one. This is a different form. Who do? Can somebody tell me who this is? Um, I actually discuss how I do uh, take insurance in a training class that I do. So it, all of my training classes. That is who is that? She's a model. I want to say that's Naomi Campbell, I believe, right? Yep. Yeah, that's Naomi Campbell. Guess what? She deals with hair loss as well. Look at that. A lot of your actors, actresses, they um, deal with hair loss issues. So somebody like myself will have to create a custom unit for them in order for them to, you know, feel like they have hair. From all the hair adhesive, absolutely. It pulls from the follicle. Now, once I go up under the scalp area with the magnifying glass, it will actually tell me if they have a hair bulb. And if they do have a hair bulb, then we would have to do other treatment like laser treatments or maybe even hair plants. Um, I don't recommend uh, uh recommend hair planting just yet. We do everything we can first, uh, non-medical, and then we move to medical, okay? This is another form of andro androgenetic alopecia in, uh, in a woman right here. See that? When she pulls her hair back and she brings her uh, fringe, it, her fringe, which is called the bangs, in uh, front, you'll see that right up in there. 
all of that is gone okay we would I would actually do a piece here you could do like a clip in and um, to cover that piece up all right so I mean when I tell you guys hold on when I tell you guys that this is a serious matter I take this to heart um, because women all over and men deal with this this what it does is when you lose your hair it's like you lose a form of your your personality or your self-esteem okay and I mean I've had them say they didn't want to get married because they lost their hair they didn't want to open up to anybody they want they started drinking smoking thank you they started drinking and smoking anger and um you know frustrated and yes they have wigs out there but to be honest with you it's not like growing your own hair so that's why i took my career to a whole nother level and decided to learn more about hair loss because i wanted to be restore that positive um ness back into that person so they feel like you know they're beautiful and you know they can go out and conquer the world you know what i mean i mean so that's why i do custom part of the reason why i do custom wigs so, guys, I want to say thank you so much. That new lighting is a beast. You know, if I told you what it was, you would be like, really? <laughs> oh, well, we're going to get this together, the phone part. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm going to be back on again tomorrow, of course, 10 o'clock. I'm going to be very consistent, I think. I've uh, been, been consistent for the last couple of days. So, and I greatly appreciate you guys joining in. We're going to talk more about hair loss. I'll be in training and I'm going to try to scope my training this weekend. I'll be in training um, and I'm going, I have a $75 airbrush. Yes, Cynthia has a $75 airbrush class. You guys jump on Cynthia online. She's absolutely the bomb.com. I love her very much. And I am taking your class. Is it this Saturday, Cynthia? Is it this Saturday? It's, I hope it's not. It's not this weekend, is it? Can you send, is it on your Facebook page? Because I'm going to jump on it. Okay, good, 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 good. Yes, I'm taking the class. I am definitely taking the airbrush class. I'm already doing that. And um, so I'll be on, yes, Cynthia, I'll be on again tomorrow. And we're going to be talking more about um, hair loss. And also I'm going to be scoping for my class this um, Sunday, Monday. I'm going to be showing you guys my class. I will officially have my practitioner and everything and have my certifications. I'm really excited about this. So I'll be able to share this with you all. And so, um, you know, and just really educate you on hair loss and what it is. I mean, most people think it's just one thing, but it's a whole level of hair loss. And you'll see why people, thank you, you'll see why people are the, you know, um, the way that they are when it comes to their hair and why they feel um, like they, I, let me tell you one more thing and then I'm done. I have a lady that has been married to her husband for 10 years. He's never seen her natural hair because she's a, she's ashamed and I'm glad I'm able to use my products and stuff. I'll show you guys everything. For, I'll, I'm going to be scoping this weekend or this Saturday. So you guys see, I'll be at the hair show Saturday and I'll be scoping Sunday, Monday through my class. So you guys can see the equipment that I'll be using, the, um, um, you know, all of the laser treatments and things like that, and the hair lot and the hair products, uh, the medical hair products and things like that. So thank you guys for jumping on so much tonight. Thank you for sharing this with your followers and giving and showing love by giving hearts. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow night around the same time. Love you and you have a good night.